Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the evaporator fan motor in the Frigidaire refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a flat blade screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, and a pair of pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new evaporator fan motor. This fan motor is located inside the freezer behind the evaporator cover panel. It blows air over the evaporator coils, distributing it throughout the refrigerator. If you are experiencing a higher than usual temperature inside the freezer and the fresh food section is not cold at all, Check the evaporator fan motor and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the freezer door. Well, uh, we're inside the freezer and uh, you can see that uh, little uh, black thing on the uh, left rear side of the uh, shelf. So this is a stopper. It's technically installed only for the uh, moving of the fridge, but uh, you know, it never hurts to have it because uh, you will feel secure that the shelf is not going to go down. So I'm going to push down on this stopper and I'm going to remove it. Next, I'm going to push this shelf to the left all the way. So the right side will come out from the wall. Um, and I'm going to lift it up and we're going to remove the shelf. So we're going to remove this box uh, using a flat blade screwdriver. We're going to insert it on the top of this uh, tab inside and I'm going to push it down and we're going to remove this cover. Next I'm going to slide this uh, clip which is a uh, ground wire connector. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver. We're going to Slide it off. All right, so I'm going to squeeze these two tabs on the side of this plug and push it in. I'm going to use a pair of pliers for that. All right. Next, we need to take out this uh, couple of quarter inch screws that holds the panel. I'm using the quarter inch nut driver and we're going to take them out. Now I'm going to tilt the cover panel forward to free the bottom. Pull it up slightly and I'm going to turn it. And put it down so we can disconnect this plug here. So this is the plug that I'm going to disconnect. There's a two tabs on the side. Squeeze them and pull the plug. Next I'm going to take it to the table and we're going to continue the disassembly. All right next uh, we're going to place it on the table and uh, I would need the uh, flat blade screwdriver. We're going to move the ring so it will clear this uh, tab. And now I'm going to lift it. And I'm going to remove it and don't throw it away, put it aside. We're going to use it again. So next we're going to do the same thing on this side. So our next move is uh, to remove the air tower from the back and these four clips are holding it. So we need to slide it this way to release it. So we can do it from the other side. All right, so let's uh, bring it up. And I'm going to do a push up on this tower from the bottom. And at the same time, I'm going to push it a little bit back so it will have uh, the upper clip also freed. And now I'm going to remove the fan blade. I'm going to slide it off the shaft. 
Next, we're going to remove this little washer. So next, I'm going to place it down again, and uh, we're going to remove this uh, rear bracket. So now, to free the motor, we need to turn this rear bracket counterclockwise. Now I'm going to lift it off, put it aside, we're going to use it again, and now I can pull out the motor. This is the old evaporator fan motor next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, before we put a new motor in, make sure that the grommet is in place and it's pressed in all the way. Now I'm going to slide the motor in, press it down all the way, and uh, we're going to lock it on the top with this rear bracket. So we're going to press it on, push it down and turn it clockwise. That's it. Next I'm going to lift up this uh, cover and next I'm going to place the washer on the shaft. Remember the one that uh, you didn't throw away? Slide it back, almost touching this, uh, the bracket. Next I'm going to install the fan blade that goes in this way, the opening here in the back, and slide it onto the water shaft all the way as far as it goes. Right now we're going to install this uh, air tower. I'm going to put it right there. We're going to insert these four tabs at the back into the four cutouts. Push it in and slide it down. Now I'm going to turn it over. Next I'm going to drop on those uh, locking rings. And I'm going to use these uh, flat blades because we're going to turn them to lock. Well, next, uh, let's take it to the fridge. All right, so let's uh, bring this cover in. And I'm going to turn it this way, support it with my left hand from the outside. I'm going to grab this uh, plug and we're going to insert it. I'm supporting this uh, sheet metal, placing the plug in. And press it through. Next, I'm going to install this uh, ground wire, you know, right there. And uh, I'm going to bring the panel up. And now I'm going to connect the motor plug. All right, now I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn this uh, panel assembly. And we're going to break it in. And uh, I'm going to insert the bottom into the duct and bring it up. I'm going to use a quarter inch nut driver and I'm going to install a couple of screws. And now we can install the cover box. I'm going to place these two tabs in the slots at the bottom and bring it up and push it into lock. All right, so I'm going to install this uh, beautiful shelf back in. Again, I'm going to place it left side, place in the holes and push it in all the way. So I'm going to lower down the right side and I'm going to lock it into the wall. Okay, now I'm going to place the stopper onto this uh, rear left side of the rack of the shelf. I'm going to put it on and press it in. And now we can close the freezer door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair. 
brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.